Anna Fay and Marilyn Saviola say they feel they had no choice but to become disability rights advocates. I became an advocate when I realized just how difficult it was to get anything you needed because of your disability. So it was part survival and it was part, you know, really an outrage that I'm a, you know, I belong in this country, I'm a citizen in this country and I live here and yet my needs are secondary. I'm very, um, I feel very proud to have been in the center of the disability rights movement in the 70s and 80s. Uh, there was a lot, a lot in that decade that changed, I think, the lives of people with disabilities. Both women were left paralyzed by polio as young girls when there was no vaccine and the virus was still a global epidemic in the late 1940s and early 1950s. Today, they're both part of the leadership staff of Independence Care System, or ICS, a nonprofit that coordinates services so adults with physical disabilities can live on their own and be as active in community life as possible, something they say helps embody what the Americans with Disabilities Act of 1990 is all about. Out. I think that there's a, a definitely a heightened awareness of people with disabilities as having rights. But where there have been strides, both agree many still haven't seen the full promise of the law. A survey from the Kessler Foundation and National Organization on Disability finds significant economic and quality of life differences for Americans living with disabilities. The biggest gap is in employment. Only 21% of adults with disabilities are employed compared to 59% of those without. Access to quality health care remains another big hurdle. 19% of people with disabilities did not get the medical care they needed within the past year. But where the Americans with Disabilities Act may fall short, they say, maybe health reform can step in. Health reform law has, has come in some very interesting things on long-term care and disability. One of them is, I believe it was under the Patient Choice Act, is that within two years the National Standard Board has to come up with guidelines for accessible uh, diagnostic medical equipment. Help with that and coverage for health and social services is a major area where the work Saviola and Faye now do at ICS comes into play. In the second part of our report, more on that and who's benefiting. In Brooklyn, Kafi Drexel, New York One.